Hello and welcome to Crazy Hank TV Survivor Chat. I'm your host, War Dog is the throwing what Keith is the swimming. Uh, you know, again, I'm, I'm kind of picking on War Dog, you know, but if, if you're not good at something, first, don't volunteer to do it. And second, if if Jeff calls you out and says it's obvious you've never thrown a baseball before, don't go back in and do it again. But that's just me. That's just me. If I was there, maybe I'd, I would do it. But, you know, we all have our strengths. We all have our weaknesses. War Dog's weaknesses he can't throw. Um... But we had two episodes tonight, back-to-back, -to -back, and I think Survivor is finally hitting its stride. This season of Survivor is finally hitting its stride. Really have enjoyed the last three episodes a lot. There's strategy going on. There's twists and turns, and it looks like we're going to get something from Extinction Island, Edge of Extinction. That's We had more of that going on. So let's get into uh, what happened. Like, if you, But if you like this, subscribe to us. Tell a friend. Let us know what's going on. You know, if you like it, you don't like it, you can leave comments in there. Let us know, hey, I'd rather if you did this, did that, or did that. But I'm trying to condense this because we had, again, two hours of, of Survivor. And I don't want this to be a 35-minute podcast. or well, not podcast, but, you know, you know what I mean, an episode. Uh, we start off with the uh, reward challenge, and uh, David can't stand up. And at first, I'm blaming David, but after the episode goes on and on and on, and we see more of War Dog, it was probably something War Dog was doing. They, they, he's just not athletic, and I guess he doesn't do anything around camp which is not a good sign, and he's kind of bossy, so we'll see how it plays out uh, further on in the game. Uh, Victoria, out of nowhere, Victoria, the snake, who I think is, she's my pick on, on the on the podcast I do, the Jay and Jack Podcast Network, Jay, Jack, and Colleen podcast, Survivor Podcast. I picked Victoria to go all the way from the start. I don't know why, just, just her, her, her little interview she did in the beginning uh, that they all do, but she her. Uh, I thought she she was she's seemed like a smart player and she is. She played Aubrey. She had Aubrey in her hip pocket. Uh, she admits she's a snake and I think she's good for the game. And I can see in, unless she does something stupid, I see her at least get to the final three. Good move by Aubrey. Um, I'm sorry, Victoria. Uh, let's see. We go to Edge of Extinction and they all they finally get some clues. Uh, Chris is there. Uh, uh, Rick shows up and he's, people aren't happy to see Rick. But they all agree that they're going to, uh, they get these maps, and they all agree that they're going to work together, but not Keith. Keith, and I, and I, some people, oh, that's just dirty play. This is Survivor. I agreed 100% with what Keith was doing. You know, I'm here to win the game. I'm not here to make friends. Um, so he takes off, and for some reason, but he couldn't get, and Chris catches up and, and knocks him out of the way. He gets the, the clue. That helps. Uh, Rick got the other clue, which was giving someone an extra vote, uh, which he gave to Aubrey, which didn't help. We'll talk about that later on. But uh, but later, Chris finds uh, or, or or they get some more clues, and because Aubrey shows up, because Aubrey got voted out, she got played. Because um, we had uh, Manu who had a big lead over, uh, and they couldn't, they couldn't do the triangle puzzle, so, or the pyramid puzzle, so they go to, and Aubrey is completely blindsided, she had an extra vote, and an idol didn't play either one, I, and this is her third game, this is her third time around, you think she'd be better at anticipating, okay, maybe this person's lying to me, I at least would have used the, the extra vote, or I would have played the idol, I think I would have played the idol, because I still would have had the extra vote in my hip pocket, that way, at least I'm guaranteed staying in the game. But it didn't happen. She goes to Edge of Extinction. She's there. She can't figure out the map. They can't figure out what's going. But then Rick figures out it might be a camp. But Reem, Reem figured out that, no, it's probably in the water. So when the tide comes out and, and does something. But she makes a mistake of going, what's that big thing over there? And Keith goes over there and picks up. And he's like, I found it. I found the clue. I found it. I'm so proud of myself. I found it. Well, you picked it up. But Reem found it. Then Reem gets into it with Chris. I thought she overreacted, but, you know, I haven't been there for 12 days and everything that's going on. So, but anyway, it's at least this is, ex I, I like this more than Redemption Island so far. It does look like at least one of them is going to get back in the game. I think that's what's going to happen. I think one of them gets back in the game. Uh, not all of them, but I think one might get back in the game next week. We'll see what happens. I don't want to spoil anyone who hasn't seen the preview. Uh, let's go to extension. We do the rest of the game, um, the rest of the challenge. I'm going to edit this out. One, two, three. Uh, we go back to the rest of the game. They're going back, and we go to the challenge, reward challenge, and Jeff takes away one of the idols. So only one team, one team is going to get immunity, and it goes through the whole thing. And 
comma wins it. It wasn't even close. Uh, they go to tribal, and it's two tri the two tribes. And before the tribes, they're, they're talking strategy, and both tribes say, "Okay, we're going to have four votes. Four votes. Do we want to go to rocks?" And I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just saying record. There is no way I'd go. There's no way I'm gonna put my survivor faith uh, faith into picking a rock. There's just no way I know. I know they've said they would do it, uh, but I think at this point they weren't going to do it. First time around, Lauren gets four votes. Wendy gets four votes. They go back and forth, and I think they made the right choice because I think Wendy. As fun as she is and as happy as she is. Hey, Wendy, your house is burning down. I know. I know. It's terrible. She's just a happy, happy person. But as far as playing the game with her, she's just a, a wild card. I don't think you can have an alliance with her. I don't think that you can. She'd be the perfect person to take the final three because I don't think she could win it. But it's just one of those people that you go, okay, if we have a I just I can't, I can't risk my game on her decision making because she just might go off and do something else. So they all agreed to get rid of Wendy because I think they've all played with her. So they know that she's just she's just all over the place. So she goes home. She's done. Well, she goes to extinction, uh, edge of extinction. And then we come down to who's I think is the player of the game. Who was the player in both episodes? And it's Victoria. Uh, Victoria was definitely the crazy Hank player of the game. Uh, she's like I said, she's my pick to go all the way. And unless she does something that irritates someone or, or she sends up a red flag to someone, because right now she's kind of flying under the radar. But uh, I think she's she's the person to beat. I think she's good at the challenges. She's smart. She's extremely strategic. And she can lie right to your face. And she just looks all sweet and innocent. But she's she's a snake. But that's what I got. That's what, that's what I'm going to say. And we'll be back next week. We'll be back a little earlier next week. This week we're a little behind because, you know, we had the two episodes and all the stuff going on. But that's it. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Bye.